So now in this video we're going to look at a circuit that responds to a uh, light. So right now the lamp is bright enough that LED is off. I'm going to dim the overhead lamp and you can see that the LED gets brighter. I can make it even dimmer across a light dependent resistor and the LED gets even brighter. That's about as bright as it's going to get. So now the reason why this circuit is so responsive to light level is because we have it wired as a current source. So the uh, voltage divider here is adjustable based on light. When it gets bright enough, that makes a direct connection to ground. For the most part, you get about zero volts. As it gets uh, darker, the light dependent resistor has more resistance, which makes it so the voltage rises. It uh, has a better connection to five volts. So that changes. Now that's the base voltage there. Changes with light. That changes the voltage at the emitter which is the same voltage as the base, but subtract about 0.6 volts approximately because there is a diode drop there. So we have uh, a voltage drop there compared to the base. But in any case, that sets the voltage across this resistor there, which sets the current because Ohm's law. When you have a voltage across the resistance, there's a current. In series with that is our load. In this case, the LED right there. So the LED does drop about three volts. So all we can build up across the resistor is about two volts. If we had a load that didn't drop as much voltage, we could get a higher voltage across the resistor and thus more current. But uh, in any case, we uh, can easily get to zero volts and go up a bit right there, which increases the voltage across the resistor and thus more current going through there, which is directly related to the light for the most part. So I finally uh, replaced my pocket oscilloscope. The other one just stopped working. But in case, we got uh, one volt per division there. So we're up about one volt. That is at the base right there. If I move this to the emitter without uh, blocking the light any, there you can see when I blocked the light, it went up a little bit. But uh, there you can see we lose about half a volt there, about uh, 0 0.6 volts compared to what is at the base. Now I'm going to turn the lamp up. And there you can see when we get it to about half a volt right there at the emitter, there is zero volts. So there's no voltage across the 220 ohm resistor and thus there is uh, no current. Now I will turn the lamp off and there you can see it went uh, a little bit below three volts. But if we go to the emitter, we lose about uh, half a volt there again, about uh, 0.6 volts. So that is setting the current, whatever the voltage is across the base or the uh, emitter resistor, I mean, right there. And thus it's the base voltage minus about 0.6 volts across the emitter resistor. And then that sets the current even through the LED. But it does limit the voltage, as you can see, to about 2 volts because we're dropping about 3 volts with the white LED. Swapping the uh, red LED, which is making a weird uh, halo effect. There you can see red LED. We got about three volts now across the emitter resistor because the red LED only drops about two volts. We will go up to the uh, base right there and you can see that uh, we got about 0.6 volts across there. So the voltage that we can get across the resistor is uh, determining a bit the maximum voltage we can get at the base with this setup. So that's another thing to be aware of. But uh, in any case, for the most part, it's just a, a cool effect that uh, we can control the brightness of an LED based on how much external light is falling on the circuit, which I think is pretty cool right there. So in any case, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.